By 2023, scouting will be the world's leading educational youth movement, enabling 100 million young people to be active citizens, creating positive change in their communities and in the world based on shared values and commitments. This is an ambitious vision, one that must cut across all sectors of development, and scouting, in partnership with key stakeholders, has made that happen. Our environment is not only paramount, but deeply necessary for our survival for the survival of millions of others for a million years to come. Sometimes we are selfish beings, conscious only to our interests, but our mistakes will be paid deeply and sadly by those who come after us. The children of today watch our actions, sometimes in silence, but they learn. The question is, what are we teaching? Is it what we were taught? Is it what we are proud of? And is it the legacy we want to pass on to them? It's sad that most of our answers will be negative. But wait, really, really wait. Here's a chance for you to make a difference by your own self, by simply planting one tree. The collective commitment of all of us might never be reached, but there's a lot of value in our individual effort, a lot of value actually. Someone asked me previously, I am just alone, what difference can I make? And I answered, you make all the difference in the world smiling as I told him. The world currently has over 7 billion people. Imagine today if everybody just planted one tree and took care of it. In just one instant, we can improve the forest cover of the world by 5%. In just one instant, we can avert the next hurricane. In just one instant, we can reduce global warming by up to 20%. All this by just one simple action from all of us. My brother, my sister, never said what difference can you make, for you can make all the difference in the world. The environment is our friend. Our devotion to its conservation should be absolute. We get everything right when we protect and improve it, and we do it so joyfully. We can take pride in our actions. We can act locally and get connected globally. We can amaze so many by doing so little and we can inspire a new generation of young people that will deliver us to the future we only dream of now. A future that we might never get to experience. But hey, that's how heroes are born. Be a hero to someone today. Make the life of your child better. Plant that tree. Grow those ten siblings. Our contributions will never go unnoticed. Our efforts will one day be applauded. This journey, though long, will one day bear fruits. For every time we come back through this gate, when fulfilled with our mission, when we have done acts of good, it only makes us that much prouder. The town, with its hustles and bustles, might never really understand our commitment. People might never really fathom our devotion towards nature. But Mother Nature appreciates. Mother Nature is nourished. And Mother Nature is always happy. And whether they know it or not, they benefit from our actions. Let others benefit from you as too. Join us. Plant a tree. Create a better world. Science have it that for every human being in every year, you need eight trees that you breathe from. And therefore, you have not only saved Sumneka village, but you have also saved more than 100,000 lives in the future and in today, the current generation and the future generation. Our theme this year is reconnecting yourself to the future. Uh, it reminds us that we have detached ourselves from where we came from, that we have forgotten that we were not apart from the environment and have remembered that we are part of the environment. Students from these schools, students from Kisi University, the Scouts and President's Award Kenya Scheme who have come around this place from Friday to date. We want to applaud you. We want to say this is a very significant step. This year being the theme being reconnecting you to nature, I think we have been reconnected. The challenge is can we keep the connection or are we going to break it? I want to thank you for making the million trees almost a reality. 
when this tree began to see how we can, how Ufanisi Resorts and the Million Trees can see how we can plant trees in the county, it was just a dream. But when I see the young people joining here, I see the schools coming here, I see head teachers, I see administrators who are busy creating, to creating time to come here and reconnect with nature and give back to the environment, I am truly humbled. So today belongs to you all. You are the true stars of today. I take this opportunity just to remind ourselves that what you are doing here, we are responding to world challenges. You hear often and talk about global warming. You hear talk about climate change. These are really threats that are facing humanity in the entire world. Just starting from the United Nations, coming to individual countries, coming even to this count, these are the challenges that we must develop a clear response to fight them. And when you hear of climate change, some of you think that it is a joke. Just reflect on, for example, what happened this year. In this count, we used to receive rains from the month of March, and then April it is maximum. When it comes to May, it is going down. You can agree with me that this year there was a great change, and even when it came, it wasn't as much as it used to be in the previous years. Have you asked yourself why this change and why this all, you know, uh, reduced amount of rain in this count and the entire country? We want to take this opportunity to challenge you. Today we are doing it here at the sewerage. But I want to challenge, especially the principals who are here, the teachers and the students. I want, I want us to do, replicate what we have done in our schools. I want us to replicate in terms of creating awareness and raising awareness to the communities that we live. May it be an evening star.